Hi all, today let's make some chicken curry. Next time, we're gonna cook some potato cooker. We're gonna get a knife and we're gonna cut it. We're gonna cut the carrots. Okay guys, we're gonna do that. I think we're gonna do that. I think we're gonna cut the carrots. I think we're gonna cut the carrots. That's that. All you gotta do next is chop them into chunk size. Uh, you can chunk them a little bit bigger or a little smaller. It's up to you. I like to chunk them into um, little chunk like the square sizes uh, so they can be cooked evenly. Um, this is a lot of sweet potato because I like sweet potato. It gives that nice and sweet to the sauce with the coconut cream without having to add you know the extra sugars and stuff um, too much so it's natural so beat the lemongrass the aroma is released from the stalks there and grate some ginger it's, it's about a couple of tablespoons and some garlic minced up about a tablespoon here I have about four uh, quarters I cut them in to chunk size <laughs> it looks like everything is in chunk size but you can use chicken uh meat and uh, skinless not meatless i meant to say it's skinless boneless uh you can use chicken breast you can use chicken uh you know whatever you the pieces you want if you don't have any bones you know you can cook a little uh faster so with bone you cook a little longer so these are ready and I'm also going to use one can of coconut. You can use more. Uh, you can use like two to three cans if you want a creamier. I'm just going to go with one for today. Sometimes I use two, but sometimes I feel guilty. So I just use one. So this is a guilty day. Uh, high heat, just trying to uh, sear the sweet potato real quick to seal the outside. Lay them all in there. Give them about a couple of minutes, two to three minutes on each side, um, as much as you can. Because when you put the sweet potato in with the soup, um, it might be too soft, and then it'll be like all smushy. So you can brown it up a little bit. This is pretty optional, but you know my family is always trying to a little pan fry a little bit. So yeah, I'm doing it. So after that, you just stir fry your uh, garlic and your ginger to release a little aroma, and then you lay your chickens in there. Pass mode. I'm not adding extra oil because my chicken already have oil, but if you don't. Uh, if you don't have any extra fat, you know, like you're using the boneless and skinless, you might want to add a little extra oil. So like a, a pinch of salt and a couple of tablespoons of sugar going in. And about a tablespoon of chicken powder. It goes one can of my coconut milk. Uh, you can do two or three. If you do two or three, just add uh, just one to two first and then use the last one. Uh, you know before you turn it off just a few minutes so I replaced my coconut milk with a can of water because my chicken kind of have bone in it so I wanted to cook a little longer if your chicken doesn't have bone you might want to cook a little bit less um, liquid because it cooks faster so I also added about a couple of teaspoons of curry powder and turn the heat down to simmer and let it simmer for um, about 10 minutes or so 
it's about halfway 10 to 15 minutes halfway uh, just turn the chicken and I let it add a little bit of uh, soy sauce maybe like a teaspoon to two teaspoons of soy sauce and then lay all your sweet potato and carrots in well I like a little bit of sweet sauce so I add coconut juice uh, coconuts a soda but usually we, you would use like a coconut juice so if you have coconut juice coconut drink add you like a cup in there uh, let it sit in there for maybe like uh, a few minutes ten minutes five minutes and you throw your onions in and close the lid for a couple of minutes and voila the chicken should have all that little sweetness and creaminess in it. I didn't put any annatto and extra oil color, but that's optional. I hope you uh, enjoy this video, especially enjoy the recipe. Give me a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe for future Vietnamese Asian home cook videos. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.